all their poor working day and night to understand you better than you understand yourself. And as a matter of fact, they have done that. Like it's amazing when you go, you, you can find someone <coughs> on TikTok for like three to four hours. They are hooking the, the populace so hard simply because they don't want them to focus on. Them. As a matter of fact, there are people who are working day and night to understand you better than yourself. Like, just to understand you better than you understand yourself. That is what it is. And actually, they have done it. If you look decades ago, these people have been in a position of innovating new things, bringing about new things that are actually hooking you up like freaking crazy. Like in this era of social media, you just have to understand how powerful that thing is. The engine is so freaking powerful, man. And guess what? From the beginning of of all of these algorithms, they, they, were, they were not made for you. They were not made for your benefit. In one way or another, the intentions behind them were somehow shady. The intentions behind all these algos, you know, they were made somehow in a shady way, in such a way that they won't be in a position to help you, but they will be in a position of hooking you up and being a slave to that. That is all it is. Social media is so freaking powerful. It's a freaking powerful tool. And yet, it is one of the biggest epidemic that have hit in this generation like crazy. You have to understand. Social media, yes, social media is powerful. It is good in some ways but actually <coughs> actually speaking like speaking with facts those people who have actually benefited from social media are considerably very low comparing them to those who have been negatively affected by the social media itself you have to understand this world is is a man eat man society why do i say that we all survive by selling things to people, by taking other people's money, by selling them something, something, you know, by capturing their attention and just giving them an offer or something of the sort. It's a man man society. And the actual reason as to why these people started the social media stuff, they had an intention of actually turning a populist, like a massive massive numbers of people to be consumers like freaking crazy like so freaking quick and they just wonder how can we do this but the answer is now answered social media and you have to understand if you look deep into the social media platforms the algorithms that we have been given out what are, what are they bringing to your doorstep you know most of them are bringing things that you have to buy, like they are bringing in things that they are, they are running you from your interests and then they bring you things that kind of are kind of of interest to you or something of the sort, you get me? Like it's, a, it's some kind of a platform whereby you get in a position of uh, getting whatever you want, you know, getting like if you want a, a gun, you don't have to go out there and look. She's just there. Like, the the social media brought convenience like crazy. You get me? That's what it is, and that is just what they wanted, simply because with convenience, it's so easy for a man to make decisions. If it is convenient for you to, uh, to, 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 to watch a movie rather than go for a run, you just sleep on the couch and just watch the movie because it is very convenient, it is very easy than going for a run when it is actually raining, you get me? So, but you just have to understand how these social media have been manipulated against the human mind, especially for men, simply because if you look deep into it, you come to realize that the ones who are producing are very few. Yet the ones who are consuming are very high. Like the numbers of the populists who are consuming are very high. Why is it so? Why? It's just because they wanted a, a, a community of consumers. People who, who they will be exploiting. What the, the tech companies did is that they came to exploit our most powerful need 
the need of connection, the need of uh, attention, you get me? And that's where they, they came to this point of realization of learning our psychology and just using that again instance to hook us up like freaking crazy. Like it's amazing when you go, you, you can find someone <coughs> on TikTok for like three to four hours, five hours of his life, just calling. He's just watching, laughing, watching ads, skipping, do. What the heck is that? You get me? <laughs> they are hooking the, the populists so hard simply because they don't want them to focus on the right things. They don't want them to focus on the things that they are supposed to, to focus on. And that way they will always remain to be consumers. And by doing that, the tech companies will always get rich. They will always get rich every day. That is just what it is. So, you have to understand, social media comes with its positive side and negative side. I'll start with the negative side <laughs> in the first. Simply because the negative is far too underrated simply because most people don't view social media as, as a negative side. They just want to see it like some, something that they go and seek happiness and all this shit. But actually, it has a negative side, of which it has destroyed a lot of people's lives and dreams. The first thing, <coughs> the negative side of the social media first is to waste all your resources. If you're not a producer, if you're not someone who is producing for the economy, like for the society, you're not producing any content, you're not sharing anything, you're just going there to consume stuff. And just travel for five hours. Guess what you're doing? You're wasting all your resources. You're wasting your time, which is one of your most valuable resource. Second, you're wasting your your Wi-Fi and data. You know, you you bought it with your finances. You get me? You're eroding your finances. You are eroding your resources. That you are wasting your your energy. That is your mental energy, your emotions, your everything. They are being exploited by these people. We are just actually doing nothing on social media. I mean, a girl <laughs> bubbling and all this, juggling her teeth like freaking weirdo. You're just going there to waste all your resources, your energy, your time, your everything. You're wasting it up on social media. And it's just one of, the, of it simply because if you look deep into it, if you really want to be successful, you have to be very conscious about your resources very cautious if you are not then guess what your resources will be spilled over and won't be in a position of elevating life in any way that is just what it is okay the other thing it does is it destroys your mind as a matter of fact social media if you're going there to you're not a producer, you're going there to waste your time and just do all this shit and rough. Guess what you're doing? You're just destroying your mind. You're just uh, eroding your focus, eroding your your persistent, your dopamine dopamine system. You know? You're, you're just seeking that immediate gratification which is actually destroying your, your neuropaths and your way of thinking. Slowly by slowly. And guess what? It will take a little effect in your life and you won't be in a position of achieving anything. All those dreams, all those ambitions that you had won't be achieved simply because you wasted all your resources on social media shit. And other than going out there and just investing in it, it is just taking away from you. That is what it is. But the good thing is that social media as well, it is just it just leveled the playground simply because if you look well in the society, people have gotten rich off of social media, by the way. Like, a considerable number, man. They have really gotten rich off of social media simply because these people are not, they are not going out there to waste their resources. Actually, what they are doing, they are investing their resources on social media. And that's why they are actually growing up, you know. Then the other dude who is on the other side watching and just enjoying shit and just... 
laughing like a freaking weirdo he's losing you get me the other side is winning and the other side is losing so it's just a matter of how you use it but it's ironical a lot of people use it the wrong way that's just what it is but if you can be in a position of just directing it towards achieving something directing it towards becoming the best version of yourself or achieving something that you want to achieve then well and good it's it's advisable to use the social media <coughs> but also it has some positive things simply because a lot of things have happened on social media and we have seen young young people women becoming just overnight successes and all this stuff simply because they had invested a long time before they grown up <laughs> so first it can help you grow your businesses or build a business your dream business or anything that you want or a brand that you really want to grow it can help you do that a lot of people have done it why not you because you're wasting it on social media the other thing <coughs> social media can be in a position of helping you scale up like build yourself up personal development if you focus on the right content the content that you're consuming day in day out this content can be in a position of changing you transforming you slowly by slowly and just making you the best version of yourself unlike if you are watching things that doesn't make any sense fun shit eh, all this stuff if you are you are consuming the content that is properly configured, informative, you know. You go with social media, but if you're using it to to see content that is just shitty and just childish, you won't be in a position of growing and it will be all out against you. That is what it is. And most people won't achieve their success simply because of the of the social media. That is just a fact. A person can be addicted to social media for over 10 years and after those 10 years he is actually 40. <laughs> That's crazy. 10 years of his life gone. Dreams forgotten. And that is what it is. You just have to be in a position of configuring social media and how you want to use it. If you really don't... <coughs> if you really see yourself using the social media against yourself, then, then you are foolish. You have to sit down with yourself and just understand the opportunity that you have in your hand. Which can actually change your life if you actually use it right. Be the best version of yourself. Analyze everything that you're consuming. And if this content gives you some, some value in any way, consider subscribing. See you in the next.